the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 193 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Pilarda Assassin. And now it's using his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Superboy, Doho Choi. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. All right, so here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.A. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big kick lands. Right hand punch to the twin. A couple of chins here being tested early. Beautiful head kick. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Just misses with the left hook. Nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Battling for hooks. All right, so one minute into the fight, we've got a full-on brawl here, DC. It's great for the fans, not necessarily. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. And just misses with that big right hand. Big kick lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Single collar tie now. There's the leg kick. That one checked by the Korean Super Bowl. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Big kick lands. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, beautiful overhand counter to the head. And again, easier to get inside when you've got such a pronounced reach advantage. 
Oh, going for the takedown here. There's no tell on that leg. It's the elbow up into the target. He changes the angles, finds the right spot to land that punch to the head from the clinch. Big kick lands. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His opponent said he was ready for it, but doesn't appear. You're not ready until you're in there. You can watch all the film you want. You can spar as much as you want, but until you feel a guy with a fast jab like this, you don't understand the precision of that punch. So he lands a combination of knees here in the clinch. All of those going right to the body. Got to do something defensively here. This could be the beginning of the end. You got to protect the midsection. You got to get the hand down across the body so that that knee is not landing clean. You better be aware. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And they separate. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Choi. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Single collar tie there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Single collar tie. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Fifteen seconds. Joy gets caught with that punch. Oh, eats a knee. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Once again, employing the knee. Five minutes in the books. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, DC, here we go with our next round. When we sat down with his opponent on Thursday, he believed without a shadow of a doubt that he was going to be able to take his opponent down. That was not the case previous round. That is not the case because he understands takedown defense. When you push him against the side of the octagon, his legs are wide, he's always got an underhook. And the moment you give him an escape, whether it's left, whether it's right, you make one mistake, he circles back to the center of the octagon and gives himself the best chance to stay standing. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Punch over the top. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, man. Jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'll tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Back and forth we go. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Just a slip there. Nice punch by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All single collar tie here. Strikes here in round two. Definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. That one's up here. Nice strike. 
Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking point. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do in his opponent. It's exactly what he needed. To get a takedown and secure the position. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Good work from the top here by Choi. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Good punch. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Nice. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. What a punch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just out of range with that right hook. Single collar tie, and they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Beautiful strike. It looked like there might have been a window there. Instead, it is blocked by the Korean Super Bowl. Liver kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Throws the right hand there. 
and he landed the right hand there. All right, single collar tie now. Unable to connect with the right. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Ooh, what a punch. His hands are down. High kick, high kick. Clipped him with the right hand there. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice kick landed there by Shore. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big punch land. Boom. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. Punch coming, it's blocked. Nice leg kick. His misses are entertaining. Switching stances here. Left hand punch at the clinch. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Boy, Ty Plum. Look at him chopping the woods. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Just misses with the straight right. Nice punch lands. Hard shots landing on both sides here. That was a thudding leg kick. Slips to avoid that left. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. How good is that right hand? Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happens when you get two very skilled, very evenly matched fighters coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Nice one-two there. Oh, collar tie. Able to check that kick as well. Single collar tie now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Went for the inside leg kick. Single collar tie there. Left hand punch with the clinch. Head kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. Takedown defense holds up. And they separate. 
connects with a right. Oh, single collar tie here. Real nice body kick land. Nice kick. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Just over three minutes to go. I mean, he's cutting down the size with a beautiful leg kick. Choi gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Under three minutes remain in round four. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, that right hand is on point. Big kick. Another shot lands upstairs. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Choi. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Misses on the uppercut there. Ooh, what a punch. Two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, man, this is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. It and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Choi. Just out of range with the big right hand. Slips the punch. Beautiful punch. Can't take many of those, you better check. And they separate. One minute to go in the round. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And they separate. Unable to connect there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. Right. All right, let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open, and he took full advantage of it. Fifth and final round. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Lands with the right hand. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Good punch land. He loaded up 
there on that high kick. He's giving him so many different things right now. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch land over the top. Oh, big overhand! Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's in a good flow right now. He's landing big shots to the body. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Just over three minutes now to go on the fight. Big leg kick land. Under three minutes now to go round five. Great punch landed with so much power. judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an effort? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges or not, you're gonna win this fight. Choi gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't Necessarily related. Choi's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is gonna hurt something fierce tomorrow. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Ooh, head kick lands, and he's hurt. Punch his blood. That's a big strike right there. 90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Nice, sneaky head kick. Right hand on point. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Beautiful kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That's a great punch. Does a lot of damage when you can hit him with the body that clean. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Straight punch land. They continue to exchange. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fights. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Oh, oh, lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Do Ho Chong. Well, he did not 
get the finish that